Good morning, Charlemagne God. Good there. morning, Tess. Mm-hmm. Let's jump right into it. Let's say rest in peace, Eric Mays. Mm. Yes, such a loss. Uh, serving as the first ward councilman since 2013, Eric Mays, a political lightning rod who represented uh, some of the city's most poorest people, died at the age of 65. Now he leaves a legacy behind a fearless advocacy, in your face politics and a common touch that rang true with voters who elected him three times to represent their city uh, in Flint. And a lot of po- people remember him from, you know, being on TikTok and, you know, a lot of his uh, in council meetings all over Twitter, Instagram, really, really popular uh, on social media. Take a listen to what he said about making it into heaven. See, I want to make it to heaven. I try my best to tell the truth. People don't like my style, how I talk, my delivery, but you ain't catching me in half truth and lies. Not running no municipal government. Yeah, so he will truly be missed. I had an opportunity to meet him uh, working on the Flint water crisis um, and just interviewed him last year on Straight Shot No Chaser. So he talks about how um, he's able to be that bold and still keep his seat. And basically he that would have your back. And we were usually on the same side. You know, someone said, you two are a couple. And I said, we were, because we fought for the same issues. We might have fought differently for those same issues, but we were always pushing for the same issues. He was always for the underdog. He had a sense for what this community kind of truly needed when you went out and talked to people door to door. And then he would come down here and just let everybody have it. There was a lot of truth in what he'd say. There were some funny anecdotes and stories, and you just knew it all came from this big heart that he had for Flint. May's death, leaving behind shock and mourning throughout the community. This whole community is, was devastating to get the news. We didn't always agree, but we respected each other's opinion, and um, we did try to work together on some commonality, on some things that we thought was good for the city. He's remembered most by his friends and colleagues for his colorful personality, drive, and strong positions on many issues in Flint. Speaking up about the water, uh, speaking up about the uh, settlement and the unjustness and unfairness of this settlement, speaking up about these ARPA dollars. I mean, there are so many things that the community will miss him speaking up and speaking out about. I'm going to miss that, but I'm going to miss the fun that we had because he was a friend. Uh, You know, and it's funny, a lot of people have sent videos of Eric and I dancing. (laughs) I said, I guess we did dance together a lot. I got to know Eric Mays when I first ran for mayor all the way back in 2007, and he was a community activist at heart. All of us just give our deepest condolences to the Mays family and all of his many, many friends who are close to him. Know that this community will never forget his big heart and his uh, incredible uh, service. The flag outside Flint City Hall will be lowered to half staff in May's honor beginning on Monday. In Flint, Lauren Piesco, TV5. No, just hasn't really sunk in yet. Veronica Simon is mourning the loss of her younger brother, Eric Mays. The Flint City Councilman died Saturday. He was 65. I met Simon at Z's Liquor Corner in Flint's First Ward. It's a place that was always welcoming and open to Mays. He was a big fan of the milk. His handwriting can be seen by customers hoping to hit it big. And the folks here tell me that Mays would come here almost every day and sit in this chair. And they say no one will ever sit in that chair again. When we didn't get him or didn't exactly know where he was, we come right up here to Zuzu's and he'd be here. Ronnie Dado, who's been friends with Mays for more than 25 years, shared his thoughts about the person he considered family. We lost a good friend. So I don't know what I say. Sorry for myself, sorry for, for his family, sorry for the friend, sorry for city of Flint. As for Simon, she says her brother was funny, generous, outspoken, honest, and sincere. He had a passion for helping those in the first ward and beyond. I've been with him lots of times, and he gets phone calls from people in other wards. 
and he'd help them, he'd make phone calls for them, whatever he could do for the city of Flint, that was his mission. Simon says she'll miss May's loud voice and laugh, along with the craziness he brought to the family. It's a family that could use your well wishes tonight. Prayer for our strength, that's the biggest thing that we would ask for. James Felton, WNEM TV5.